Hi 3D Printer Geeks! I'm Frank and welcome to my shop. And today I have a problem. I need a teleprompter. A teleprompter is a device that can uh, be put in front of the camera so that I can read what I'm saying to you. It's, it will be easier for me to read something that I've written before than just improvise like I do uh, right now. I've looked on Amazon for some teleprompter for an iPad or an iPhone and uh, I don't like them. I don't like the design, I don't like the price. Uh, so I've come to the conclusion that I need to design one myself. So let's, let's look at what I'm thinking. So this is the design that I am thinking of. I'm going to use this tripod to hold my iPad in front of the camera. So the camera will be here on the second tripod and there will be a glass that will reflect what's on the iPad to me and the camera will shoot its image through the glass with a shroud preventing uh, reflection inside so that the camera doesn't see the glass and I will use an aluminium bar to hold everything and it's gonna slide in the block and I'm gonna slide in a support for the iPad and the shroud in front of the camera. That's the thinking behind this. So it's gonna be movable and I'm gonna, it's gonna be easy and fast to just put in the, the teleprompter and take it out when I don't need to. First, we're gonna design this little block to fit perfectly inside here. And then in the second part, we'll do the angle and everything else. First, we're gonna design this block and see if it fits. Let's go do that. So first we need to do some measurements. Here, I take the measurements of the profile of the part, everything that's needed to reproduce this inside of Fusion 360. So I'm gonna show you how, how I designed this. First I create a new component and I call it the shoe and then I create a sketch on the bottom plane and I draw a rectangle of 11 by 41 like in the sketch and then I add lines in the middle both ways and I make them construction lines with the X key and then I center it on the origin. Now I'm gonna draw a line for the upper portion which needs to be 35 millimeters and draw a line in the middle, a construction line in the middle to be able to make it coincide and dimension it three millimeters from the top which I had measured and another line on the bottom for the bottom part which is 1.75 millimeters from the bottom and the only thing needed now is the corners lines and then I extend the top the top line to the sides and then trim trim the excess lines and that's it that's the profile that I need I'm gonna stop the sketch now we need to extrude it we select the profile that we need and then extrude it 41.5 millimeters high 
And the last thing we need are rounded corners on the bottom. And I want to have them at 45 degrees, three millimeters. So I'm I, at first I draw a line, I make it coincide with the top, the top and left line. Same thing on all corners. Those lines are only for reference for the arc that I'm gonna draw. I should have make them construction lines, but it doesn't matter. So I do the arc, three point arc in every corner and it snaps when it's tangent to the sides. Stop the sketch and extrude those so that we can cut the corners like in the original part. So I'm gonna extend it to the top uh, to the bottom of the top part. So I choose two object and then select the face that I want. But if I push OK, there's an error because the other side doesn't have that face. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna delete those two from the selection of the first extrude and just do a second extrude. I need the sketch back and then do another extrude to the face on the other side like that. That's it. So we have round rounded corners and we've reproduced the original part that we need. So let's save this not to lose it. <laughs> Although Fusion 360 has an autosave function and then make. So starting Cura first, choose the Wonder Price Mini printer, go back to Fusion, make, choose the body and then OK to send it. Here I select the support just to see if it's gonna do some support on the corners, but I don't think so. The angle is not steep enough. So that can be printed without support and without bed adhesion. I don't need any bed adhesion. It's, it's already a big piece, so it's gonna stick. So none. And then check the settings and if look if it is going to print okay seems to be good everything should be fine and print with octoprint and you see my camera right now so let's see what uh, what the part is gonna look like let's see if the finished part fits as well as the original fits like a glove right cool so that's it for part one uh, we've printed and tested the shoe and it fits now next time we'll add uh, support for the uh, angle aluminium angle bracket that's it for me and please comment below uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and see you in the next video ciao bye